Premiere Pro makes it extremely easy to navigate and select clips, as well as create new sequences based on the properties of those clips. Let's explore a couple different ways that we can move across our clip, make in and out points, and bring them into a sequence. I'm going to start down here in the project panel, where I'm going to select the project panel and hit the tilde key to make it full frame. In order to open up my Guatemala Shots bin, I'm going to command double click it on a Mac or control double click it on a PC. I can now see all of the shots that are inside the bin. In order to make them a little bit larger, I'm going to use my zoom sliders at the bottom left hand corner of the screen and drag the scroll bar over to the right. Now my shots are larger. I'm going to go over my fog TL shot and as I hover over it, I can scrub and get an idea for what's inside the footage. I can also select the clip. I will move the square scroll back and I'll hit the space bar to preview the time lapse footage. I'll also hit the space bar to stop. Besides being able to use the space bar to play back your clip, you could also use the L key to play forward. And if you hit L again, it would play at double the speed. I could also hit K to stop. If I hit the J key, I'd be able to play back the clip. J once again to play at double the speed, followed by a K to stop. J, K, and L are your friends. I want to hit the L key to play a little bit forward, and then hit I to make an in point, followed by a couple seconds later, an O to make an out point. I'll hit the K key to stop. Here's my clip, and to bring it into a new sequence, I will select the clip and drag it over the new item icon, where I'll then release my mouse to see it load into the timeline. The sequence is named after the clip. If I hit the backslash key, I could fit the clip inside the window. Now I'd like to add yet another shot that precedes this current shot in the timeline. I'll scroll up here in the bin of my project panel, and I want to load this clip into the source monitor. I'll select it and drag it to the source monitor. I'm able to see that clip. And to draw your attention to the bottom here, we have the ability to play our clip with the button bars underneath, to create in and out points, to also overwrite and insert, as well as export frames to our system that we can bring into our project later as a freeze frame. Let me just use the L key in order to play forward on this clip, which works just the exact same as the project panel. I'll hit the K key to stop. I'm now going to use my J key to move backwards with a K to stop. And around this point, I'm going to hit I to make an endpoint. I'll move the L to move forward. And a couple seconds later, I'll hit O to make an out point. I'll now press Option K to play from the in to the out point to check that I'm happy with my selection. Now, I could press one of these buttons to bring into the timeline, but instead I'll use a keyboard shortcut to insert it at the playhead position, which is the comma key. I'll hit the comma key, and you can now see that the shot comes before the shot that I just placed into the timeline. If I hit the backslash key, I can fit everything to the window. Besides being able to select shots in your project panel or in your source monitor, you're able to bring shots into your timeline and create in and out points on them there. If I move my playhead to a current position, I can use the Option or Alt Q to trim the in point of the clip to the playhead. I'll hit Command Z to undo, or I can press Option W to trim the out point of the clip to the playhead. And that's how you can select shots in the project panel, source monitor, and in the timeline.